Hi, I want to show you a cool new update that we have for the app called Visual Mixer. Um, so I'm in Cubasis and one of the things that some people complain about Cubasis is that there's no submixes. Um, so Visual Mixer can solve this, uh, at least partly, and it solves it like this. I'm going to put, that's not what I want to do, I'm going to put Visual Mixer on every one of my tracks. So there it is on track one, and I'm going to track two and add it. And when I, let's see, audio units. Okay, so I've got Visual Mixer on four tracks. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group these. So I've got uh, two tracks which are acoustic piano. There's nothing in them, this is just for a demo. And that's track one and track four, just to check yeah, so it's, they, they've automatically been labeled in the order that, that they are appearing. These, these automatic labels are, are the order in which I added these instances of Visual Mixer. See, this says T4. That means that's the fourth instance of Visual Mixer. And unfortunately, if you didn't add them in the order that the tracks are numbered, they could be different from the numbers here. So then you might want to go and rename them. But let's let's assume that they're ordered correctly. So I'm going to assign track one to group one, and track two is already in group one, but I'm going to put track four in group two and track three in group two. And now if I hide the tracks in group one and group two, I now have these um, separate controls for the groups. So what's going on here is if I enable the groups, you see what's inside of them. But when I turn them off, you see like a grouped volume control. So if I pull this down here, I'm now taking down the volume of all the tracks that are in group one. Or if I do this, I'm panning all the tracks in group one left. I can also close this up and I can mute all the tracks in group one. I can solo all the tracks in group one. I can solo all the tracks in group one and two um, or take that off. So Although this isn't a proper submix uh, in the sense that um, I'm not going to be able to run uh, one instance of an effect and have all of this go through, um, at least it does allow me to group my tracks and then set the volume and pan for a whole group at one time or solo a group of tracks at a time, which is something that several of the audio, audio unit host apps in iOS currently don't support. So now by just putting Visual Mixer on every track, you now have the ability to do that kind of uh, group volume and, and pan and mute and solo operation. Um, for those of you who haven't seen Visual Mixer before, uh, if you're wondering how, how I'm editing all these tracks at the same time, every instance of Visual Mixer is linked up with all the other instances. So regardless of which track I'm on, if I open Visual Mixer, I'm going to see the same thing with the same settings. Basically, once you have it on every track, you can close them all and just edit everything in one, in one place. And that's, uh, that's really the main reason why we, we created this Visual Mixer. So I'll stop there. Uh, if you're interested, Visual Mixer is on the App Store. If you like our videos in general, hit subscribe so that it'll get prioritized next time uh, you're browsing through YouTube. And um, if you would be so kind, hit like on this video and that will help us grow our YouTube channel. So thanks again. Bye.